What's up, everybody? This is the Jake coming at you with a brawl deck for Kimball Profiteering Mayor. We are playing Orzov tokens today. Kimball says, whenever one or more tokens are in the battlefield under your opponent's control, for each of them, create a tap token that is a copy of it. Triggers only once each turn. And the other text is, whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So we're leaning pretty hard into that. We have a couple of different things that are removal here at one mana. This one's just flexibility to help us out. Swords of Plowshares, everybody loves it. Blood Chief's Thirst, very flexible card. So a lot of our removal is similar to Angelic Ascension. It's going to give our opponent a token. But if we cast this while Kimball is out, we also get one of those. So it's good for us, right? Anointer Priest, we gain life when we get a token. Bowbound Intervention, removal with a token. Faithful Disciple, draft from their spellbook. Most of their spells are token related, which is awesome. We got Scrub's Hive in this deck. We've got ways to sacrifice things. We've got Bitter Blossom which is one of my favorite cards of all time. But anyway, we're making a ton of tokens. We are using things like Mirkwood Bat. So whenever you create a sacrifice token, opponents lose life. We've got a lot of the aristocrat pieces. So whenever a creature dies, your opponent loses life and you gain life. We've got cards like Loth over here, Clackbridge Troll, Sarah to buff our tokens. And one of the best cards of all time, Anointed Procession and Mondrak. Anointed Procession number two, we are making tons of tokens. And then over here at the top end, tripling them. So we got two doublers and a tripler. Liliana, because when a creature dies, you draw a card and it's just amazing. Mirror's Call. We've got all, basically all of the Orzhov dual lands, a couple of fetches to get them. Super easy. We have one board wipe that is also a token producer, so super flexible. But this one's a ton of fun. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to build this deck soon too. Just uh, stay tuned for that, but let's hop right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? Editor Chig here. Just a quick reminder to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you want to support the channel a little further, you can head over to Patreon, give your boy a dollar, buy your boy a soda. You can become a member here on YouTube. You can check out the merch shop down below. Donations are always appreciated, never required. They just help further the channel. And that's it. Let's hop right into it. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got lands and spells. Uh, who are we up against? We are up against Kalia of the Vast. When she attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, dragon, creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacked. Whoa. Well, that seems a little bit scurry, y'all. Just a little bit. Um, we're going to see how that goes. Um... Mm. Uh, that is not going to be a monocolored permanent. Mm. Hmm. This might be a mess. Well, we got ramp and things to do, I guess. Uh, all right. This, do this, name white. Colors are online. Ba -ba -da. I'm going to turn the music down just a tad. Just a little more because that seems like it's a little loud. Eh, eh. Let's fix it. All right, there we go. Um, I'm going to play Command Tower. I'm going to go ahead and jam Kimball so I can start making dudes and start getting some value. Value. Value, value, value. All right. That is a Kalia. Um. Eh, let's use that later. We'll double spell for now. Um, get rid of you. Then 
then we, well, we can actually triple spell. So let's play Arcane Signet. Servo Exhibition, gain two life. Or gain one life, because it's when it happens, right? Uh... Yeah, so since I got two, it just happened once. Archangel of Tides. Oh, I have to pay to block. Wow, that's something. All right. Um. So let's see. What can we do here? So. Uh. Hmm. It's gonna give it indestructible. Um. Since he'll give it indestructible, let's just do this and use it on the selfless savior because I'm gonna pretend that this player knows what they're doing and they would just sack the selfless savior to give archangel yep okay i'm going to do this i'm going to grab the surveil land so i can see hopefully set up my draw for next turn we do not want another land um swing with the team whoop oh can't swing with the team. Uh, boop, boop. There we go. I can swing with one dude. It says attack. Let's see. Oh, okay. Woohoo! Blood letter of Al Aklazots. That is so hard to say. An opponent will lose life during their turn, lose twice so much of their life instead. Alright. Damage is, in fact, loss of life. Um, let's play Tesa. Get a dude. Bump, bump. Um. Swing with the team. Let us take action. The one ring. Wow. Okay, so next turn, I cannot hurt them. And they are digging, digging, digging. Um. Hmm. I will block the one. And I will take four. All right, Tissa comes back, makes a dude. I gain a life. Uh, Castle Ardenvale. That is not the worst draw, as it were. Um, yeah, let's send team. Bonk, bonk. I forgot they had the One Ring. I'm sending a message. That's what it is. Sending a message. Pass into turn. I mean, I'm only going to block with the spirit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, demon, angel, incinerator of the guilty. Ooh. You creature and planeswalker that... Um, oh, so you can deal one damage to everything? Okay. Um... Pass the blockers. I will block your 3-5. Auto pay. I take 4. Okay. Um, let's make a dude. Dude has been made. Gain and drain. Thalia comes back. He makes a dude. Gain and drain. Uh, great or sacrifice. Um, so let's do this. Uh, three attacks. You have one blocker. You're just gonna take a couple of damage, and then I'm gonna do this for four, and that's gonna be the game.
Let's see, equals four. Auto pay, because I don't want to kill my dudes. I just want to make some dudes and drain them out. Bunch triggers. All right, GG Kalia. Yeah, Let's say that's a good one. That's a good one. The voracious vociferous codex. Um, this does not have my colors. This no. Whoa. Yeah, I'll try it. Cody, Vociferous Codex, you can't cast permanent spells. Your next cast your spell this turn. Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile an instant or sorcery card with lesser mana value. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put each other card exile this way under the bottom of your library in any in a random order. I feel like this is just going to be blood, uh, not blood, board wipe dot deck is what this feels like to me. So let us see. That's the case. Maybe having a planeswalker is a good idea. All right, let's draw Liliana next turn. All right, um, let's do. Um, yeah, let's just play another type line. I think that's fine. Into the north. My boy over there is ramp, ramp, ramping. All right. Um, let's play Takanuma so we can get Kimball down. Maybe we can start making some dudes. And get an untapped land with Bloodstained Mire so I can play Falcon Wrath Noble next turn. So, growth spec. My boy's ramping. Ramp, 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 ramp. I have honestly never played against a Cody deck, so this is new for me. Um, I'm going to try to get down the Falcon Wrath Noble, but I am not entirely certain he's going to resolve, so let's see. Um, he insta did. Alright, cool. Let's attack for two. Bonk. We got a bonk. They got a honk. What up? Ooh. We fed the geeses. Oh my gosh, that's a Golos. Alright, well, I'm going to Angelic Ascension that as soon as I untap. <laughs> Dig up. Uh, search library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Oh, okay. Oh, he's ramping hard, bro. Jeez. Alright, um... Oh, well, I guess I'm not going to Angelic Ascension his Golos. Um, oh, Okay. I don't know if he read my magic cards. Um, let's get a planes. Uh, let's angelic us. No, firstly, let's play vampire. Then angelic ascension. Bonk. I should have attacked first, but I did not because I am a derp. All right. Yeah, I should have attacked first, because I could have got in some Damagio. Alright, so next turn, he's going to be doing stuff. Alright, um, let us see. I am going to do what? Um, let's shadowy backstreet, see what we're drawing next turn. Uh, we are not drawing Shepard Dunes. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Tesa. And then I'm going to offer the angel trade because, yeah, uh, mine's going to have Vigilance and Lifelink. So he can take the trade or he can take the damage. I still get the block with flying. Perfectly acceptable to me. So it's going to get Rip and Pepperonied. And then I'm going to get a double trigger of Falcon Wrath Noble because of Tesa. So, ba 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 ba. Trigger, 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 trigger. Alright, he's gonna Teferi's... That seems like a waste of Teferi's protection, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess... Alright, here comes a board wipe. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay. Maybe not. No, nope, there it is. Alright, well, here's a bunch of triggers that you'll face, opponent. Okay. Let us see what happens here. Yeah, I feel like this is... The board wipes are about to start happening like mad. Um, definitely Clarion's a good one, though. Um, so, let's do land? Let's do... Play her. Let's force him to have an actual factual board wipe because three damage isn't going to cut it. Alright. And then next turn, I will be able to make a bunch of dudes, sacrifice one of the dudes, do the thing. Riv uh, what does Riveteer's turn do? Target opponent sacrifices a creature, planeswalker that controls the highest mana value among the creatures in planeswalker that control. Okay. Well. Goodbye, Sarah Redeemer. I knew D well. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll put that back in the command zone. Alright. Cody over there casting a lot of spells. Bouncing stuff, ripping stuff. Alright. So, let's see. It's nine mana total. One, two, three, four, five, six... Eight here. Um, so I think I am going to play this. And then I think what I'm going to do is go get Bitter Blossom. And the reason I'm going to get Bitter Blossom is because if he keeps wiping my board... I will at least have some board presence the next turn without having to rely on drawing a card, which I think is probably a good thing. Um, whether or not it's going to be a super effective thing or not, I have no idea. All right, Cody, roll the bones, bro. What you got? Roll them bones. What did you hit? Oh, Karn's Temporal Sundering. All right. That is a good magic card. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Return the thing. This might be the end of this one. Um, they bounced my Bitter Blossom. They bounced my Tesa. They are doing their thing. Um, Cody's really cool. I might have to build a Cody deck. This is really cool. I'm enjoying what they're doing here. This is definitely... Oh, man, more Deafening Clarions. Woof. Getting stuff back from your graveyard is strong, as it were. Alright. Um, I think I am officially buried in card advantage. Um, they're going to have enough removal and board wipes and everything that I'm not going to be able to come back, so... Um, you guys can burn me in the comments if you think this is an early scoop, but I do not think I am going to be able to uh, come back from this. So I'm just going to go ahead and concede this one because they are doing their cool thing. We're going to let them let them fly with that one. We are up against Roxanne. Roxanne throws rocks. She is going to be ramping and throwing rocks at our face. Um... I don't have any token producers, but I have a lot of uh, utility cards. Um, hmm. uh, uh, let's let's believe in the cards, guys. Um, let's grab Surveil Land, Shadowy Backstreet. Uh, we do not need another land at the moment. Oh, this might have been a bad keep, guys. This might have been a bit... Hmm. Ragavan. Um, well, here's what I'm going to do. I am not going to let the monkey hit me. 
do not think that's worth. So I'm just going to grab a tapped godless shrine and let it ride because getting hit by the monkey does not sound good. Letting them ramp and steal my cards, not, not on my list of things I want to do today. All right, let's go ahead and drop Kimball. Our profiteering mayor. All right, there's Nissa. Double landfall trigger. You can play a three mana spell. She's going to get double landfall trigger. She's going to get something out of her library. And she is going to be able to cast something that cost three. Jewel Thief, there we go. Create a treasure token. I get a treasure token because he created one. All right, so what I'm probably going to do here is drop Heraldic Banner. Um, so let's play a land. Let's play Heraldic Banner. Let's do white. Let's vanishing verse on. Let's see. No, they can play Roxanne next turn no matter what. So I'm just going to let that fly. Um, just jam Cold Steel Heart on black and pass the turn. I'm holding up my Vanishing Verse for when they play Roxanne, because I really don't want it to remain on the battlefield very long. Um, Xenagos. All right, that's... Mm, well, no, never mind. Vanishing Verse. I did not read my cards, because I'm a derp, apparently. All right, um, let's... Um, yeah, uh, let's... Vanishing Verse, the Nissa. Then let's Battle Screech. And Battle Screech. We are making dudes. We are making dudes. Alright, you're gonna hit me for six. You hit me for six. I am not blocking. <laughs> prime time! Alright, heck yeah. Let's go, prime time. I do be liking some prime time. Alright, those guys don't. Hmm. So. I. think what I'm going to do, since those guys don't have reach, is I am going to race. Because, like, healing eight every turn is not nothing. I mean, you can hit me for 12, right? I mean, because you can double, yeah. Got ready courtyard. Trumpeting Carnosaur. Ooh, look at you go. Skyclave Relic full free. You go, Glen Coco, you go. Hey, I'll take some Skyclave Relics over here. Let's go. Alright, you ramping me. Alright, you swinging in for 12. What you got? Could really use a token producer off the top. That would be great. Um, can get this back. I can 
bonk this and flip it and can do all the things with that. Um, I'm going to block that and take 12 in game two. Hmm. Yogmoth. See, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, we can double spell. Let's go. All right. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to send these guys in. End of the turn. Protection from humans. Odd Bob 1 does not have any humans. What does that do? If a source you control will deal non combat damage to an opponent or a permanent, deals double that damage instead. Okay. That's pretty good. I hear that it's pretty good, guys. Now he's going to play Roxanne, and he's going to kill my Yawgmoth with a rock. I guess. Probably. I don't know. Alright, Roxanne. Resolves. Resolves. Okay. Um, does that mean I get one, too? Hmm does mean I get one too. Okay. Um, I would like to send a mine to face, please. Alright, so you're targeting the burb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice the burb to target Roxanne. Submit one. Draw a card. Okay. Resolve. Rekindling Phoenix. All right. You have a Phoenix. You have whatever that thing is. Add two mana in a combination of colors. Only to cast creature spells or activate creature abilities. Okay. Alright. You're attacking with the team, it would appear. Alright. Pass to attackers. Alright. Resolves. Alright. Um, you're going to send two damage to Kimball. So I am going to... Sacrifice Kimball to put a minus one, minus one counter on you. Take action. All right. Um, resolve, resolve. And I block in a manner where I do not rip in pepperoni. That is the question. I think the answer is yes. Okay. Resolve. Go get your thing. Resolve. Go get your thing. Resolve. Do your surveil. Cast blockers. All right. Blocking you. Blocking you. Blocking. You. Blocking. You. Blocking you. Five blockers. Pass the damage. All right. Uh, I don't think I rip in pepperoni. There we go. Okay. So my thing is back. 
So how much mana do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So these five. So I can't do it. Hmm. Okay. What I was going to try to do is Mondrak, make Mondrak indestructible, and then White Sun's Twilight for a bunch, but I think what I'm going to do is just White Sun's Twilight for a bunch. Two, alright, so four, five, nine, ten, eleven. Ten. Okay, so I'm gonna do it for nine. Auto pay. I have nine dudes. What do you have, opponent? What do you have, opponent? Odd Bob One, Roxanne, Starfall Savant. Where is my pen? There is my pen. All right. Okay. You can't get anywhere near ripping my pepperonis. And then I think you just rip on the crackback. I don't know. And he scooped. GG's. The Twilight coming through strong. Getting the board wipe and the weenies doing the thing. Hmm. Alright, so he's playing Mythweaver Pock. I don't have to worry about removal. So I just need to see about going real wide, real fast. And I think this hand can do it. Um, let's try and see. Oh no, he made a blocker. Whatever shall I do? Alright. Oh, he was going to attack with the plant to send a message. What is up, my boy? That is a me move, 100%. Let's give the horse an apple. Whoop, whoop. Ah, much. Much, much, much. Alright, three lands. He's going to cultivate. Next turn, he is going to play Pock and drop a land. It is about to get real. Alright, so I need a land off the That is a land off the top. Alright, let's go. Alright, um, Monastery Mentor. So, I'm going to cast next turn, Anointed Procession is going to give me a dude, and then after that, everything... And then, yeah. Actually, I might just mm, Conclave Tribunal next turn. Make him recast Pac. Um, yeah, I think that's the move. I think I'm just gonna make him recast Pac. So I get a dude. And then... Yeah, and then we'll play a tapped land because I don't have anything in my hand I can play for one. And then next turn, I, yep, there we go. Play your land. Yep. Just trying to keep you from casting up multiple, multiple spells in a turn, opponent, for now, until I can get my board set up. Um, let's see. Oh, it says Conjure Duke, but it does not say Conjure Token. That would be busted. All right. So I'm going to 
get my Monastery Mentor smacked in the face by Mythweaver Puck. <laughs> Alright. Womp womp. Alright. Um, that is not a problem. Let's see. What do we want to get down first? I think the move is Anointed Procession. I am not attacking with that little weenie. Alright. Um, that's it. No, no attacks. And then I think next turn we can Tesa set up for Deadly Dispute um, on a block, maybe. Draw some cards, see what we can get going. Um, Tesa is going to start making two dudes a turn. Um, if I can get a good, um, if I can get a good token producer. We're going to be going ham. Okay, so now creatures you control have trample. I'm not even going to block because that... Why would I? He has trample. I'm going to prevent one damage. I would rather have that for next turn to be able to deadly dispute it. Alright, so... That actually changes things a little bit. Okay, so let's do that instead. Let's, uh... Battle Screech. And Battle Screech. And let's attack for one with one, not for one, with one. Or three. Um, next to damage. Let's go get a basic swamp. Yep, you can enter restoration. That is fine. I'm going to see if I have the thing that I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of his trample. I think that is going to be the best thing I can do is getting rid of his trample. Um, do I have the thing that destroys... Doot, doot, doot. What is it called? Uh, sword target and non-land permanent. Uh, I don't want to lose life. Um, yeah, let's get a stroke of midnight. Now that is if I don't rip and pepperoni this turn. I have five toughness worth of blockers. Um, yeah, I have to not get ripped. That's a problem. Um, yeah. All right. I am at 15. <sighs> what you got? Am I ripping pepperoni? Wow! That was cheese. Um. So if he can get Mythweaver Pox power to 20. Oh no. Not the scoots. Not the scoots. Ah, the scoots. The scoots, the scoots are coming. All right. Swing in. Let's see if I can stop you. I think the answer is no now, because I don't think I can... I don't think I can make enough... Ugh. Ah, I'm gonna be at three. I'm gonna be at two. I'm gonna be at two. I am gonna be at bed, I think. 
That puts me at one. He's got a lot of scoots. Oh, well. I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him do it. Your deck did the thing, opponent. GG's. 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 That's... I like that. I do be liking some scoots. Scoot scoot! Scoot scoot! Alright. I have... An actual decent hand here. Uh, I will keep that. He is playing the first sliver, which is probably not an actual sliver deck. It's probably just five color good stuff. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The first sliver. I do be liking slivers. There are some fun slivers on Arena. Um, I will make that deck at some point. Leave a comment if there is a specific deck you'd like to see. Um, I will see if I can make it happen. Uh, ba -ba, Thornwood Falls. Alright, let's go ahead and get our Cruel Celebrant down. My 1-2 with all of the Rippin' Pepperonis here. Rippin' Pepperonis! Cabaretti Rebels. So, ooh, okay, so that might actually be Slivers. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Alright, so I'm going to play Welcoming Vampire. That way whenever a dude comes into my um, battlefield, I can draw a card as long as its power is two or less. One time each turn, but hey, one time is one time indeed. That is four mana. Alright, so I am going to... What do I want to do here? I would like to... I can't Vanishing Burst that, because it is a multicolored permanent. Um, let's get Kimball down. Draw a card, see what we get. Well, I guess he could get countered. He did not. Alright, so let's draw a card. Alright, we got Castle Ardenvale. So, let's surveil one. Um, yeah, I'll take two dudes off the top. I am not upset about getting two guys. I still have land drops I can make, so I am not hurting for mana na 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 na. All right, sliver hive lord. That's a good one. All right, so it is an actual factual slivers deck. So that is awesome. Love that for them. That is amazing. So, Sliver Hive Lord. Slivers are indestructible. This is a shapeshifter. He is a sliver. I still cannot do anything about that. Um, let's play a Castle Arden Vale. Let's play a Mentor of the Meek. Draw a card. Okay, um, it is a fetch land. We shall make two dudes. We will draw a card. We will not draw a card because we do not have the mana to pay, but um, we will bonk for two in the air. Bonk! I love that he's actually playing slivers. Here comes the Cascade! Ooh, Bone Slice Sliver. Slivers have Double Strike. Oh. Ah. Ah. Woo! My boy is going ham. Dang. All right, I am going to try not to get hit in the face. So. Dang. That's... In... That's a lot. All right, so I'm... Mm... So I think what I need to do is first get rid of double strike, bro. That's a that's a start. Um, okay, so Neil, I think what I'm gonna do is 
go ahead and let's see one two three um dang all right uh let's get a swamp 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 all right swamp let's foretell this so we can make a bunch of dudes in a minute and let's play cold steel heart naming white and let's not attack with the vampire because she's a good blocker. All right. Oof. See what we got here. Cabaretti Rebels is so good. All right. Oh, okay. Whew. All right. God. They're doing the things. Oh. Gosh. Their sliver deck is doing sliver deck stuff, y'all. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> okay, I am sorry, Mentor of the Meek. You are getting rip and pecaronied. Whew. Okay, you got rid of my mana rock. Congratulations. That's cool. Alright, how do I not die? Um I'm just gonna block him. All right. Wonk. Does that say all slivers are indestructible? Sliver creep. Yep, it does in fact say all are indestructible. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I mean, they still don't have trample, so let's... I think right now we are at the, um... Trying to not rip in pepperonis part of the game. Um, they're not wide enough to take us out yet, so that's a thing. Um... This is tough. All right, they're swinging with the team. Well, let's see. I will sacrifice one of these dudes. Uh, two of these dudes. Three of these dudes. Three blocks. Don't know why I didn't block one of the little ones with Kimball. Or with Cruel Celebrate, but... Who knows? Alright. What do I draw? I need... Oh, bro. Alright, you got to do the cool thing. He got to do the cool thing! I can't even win with a board wipe. I need exactly settle the wreckage off the top here or diabolic intent so i can go get settle the wreckage i have to have settle the wreckage and two out of 82 is not a very good chance all right settle the wreckage Let's settle the wreckage Let's settle the wreckage come on off the top 
Knock the deck. Alright, come on. <sighs> that is not Saddle the Wreckage. I will play my thing. They get some dudes, I get some dudes, I gain some life. Draw a card. If it's Diabolic and Timish all the record, I'm going to be real sad. Alright. GG's opponent. He did the thing. He did the thing. Good job, bud. Master. It's playing Shield Rude. Okay, uh. Um. Yeah. Um. No, I'm gonna take a mulligan here. Um, I think this is a good enough hand. Alright, so... Stasis... Master. Alright, so we are going to get the Surveil Land. So this is the shoulder that flips and makes you sack a dude. It is a very, very good card. So we are going to be getting... Um, a lot of our things are going to come into the battlefield and then leave immediately. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of ripping pepperoni. Um, so what I think I'm going to try to do is get on the board early. Um, and then try to stabilize later on because we got to run them out of removal because we are going to be getting ripped a lot. The old red. Okay. Scrub's Hive off the top is great. Um, I kind of want to keep that for later, but I don't think it's worth it right now. So we're going to take Scrub's Hive just to have a repeat source of dudes. And then we're going to bonk. Bonking for two. Bonking for two, guys. Bonking for two. Bonk, bonk. Spirit's coming in hot. All right, Lego. Scroll side makes a dude. Um, let's play a Gonjo. Let's play Bertram. I do not expect Bertram to be on the battlefield very long because he is incredibly strong. Number one or more tokens that are in the battlefield under your control. Create an extra vampire. Only triggers once each turn. Yep, there we go. Did not expect him to make it. But we... They're going to be removal dot deck. So we have to make them use it. And I would rather them take him out than one of those two. So, bonk bonk. Ooh, ooh that's a cool avatar. Avatar! We got a Johnny with a dragon hoarding something cool. Or gargoyle or whatever that guy is. Alright, so... So far, so not good. Alright, so we are getting a scroll here. So, non-token creature or planeswalker. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just play Intangible Virtue. I'm going to play Concealed Courtyard. I am going to hit him with a bonk. Hit him with a bonk. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Intangible Virtue is an incredible magic card. Creature tokens get plus one, plus one, and have Vigilance. Uh, choose one or both. Destroy all legendary creatures or destroy all non-legendary creatures. Okay, cool. Resolves. Uh, when it flips. Okay, Marchesa. My turn. Alright, we make a dupe. Let's play a welcoming vampire. Hmm. Let's. To make them remove Kimball, I think. So 
So he's probably going to play Shieldred here to make me sack and ball, and then I will Vanishing Verse in response. Uh, each player mills a card. Okay, I was wrong. He is playing Eye Collector. All right, they're Shieldred. All right, so Shieldred's going to land. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I have to sacrifice Kimball. So bye-bye, Kimball. Put you back in the spot. All right. So this is a great magic card. I'm going to play that and then Welcoming Vampire because I want to get the trigger um, just in case. And then I'm going to bonk for two. Being able to double spell or end them out of removal faster too. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So if they play that, I'll probably sacrifice Welcoming Vampire. Um, we'll see. So they're going to block. They land Shieldred. I am definitely just serving up Welcoming Vampire. Because I want to keep Alas up here. Because she is very good. I use her as a commander. Two? Oh man, I will show you guys that deck. I am thinking about making a budget build of that, so if you want to see the budget build of that, please put it in the comments and I will try to get that done as soon as I can. Alright, Soul Transfer. So they're just taking it out. Exile it. Alright, uh, Waste Knot. Uh, it's an incredible magic card. Um, how many cards are you going to make me discard, opponent? Um, okay, you're killing my Aristocrat. That is perfectly acceptable. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So let's do... So that counts their creatures. Uh, I'm going to be create or sack a token. So let's play that. Let's go ahead and get them two more poison on. Now these guys have life link, so they're going to be padding my life total, which is incredible. Uh, the beginning of combat on your turn, each player mills three cards. All right, I uh, milled three. All right, Mind Rack Harpy. I think we're starting to hit that sweet spot where we're grinding hard enough to make it difficult on our opponent to catch back up. So... Removal dot deck. They're going to get rid of my Merkwood bats. I'm going to play. Let's see. How much mana do I have? Three, four, five, let's see. Uh, six. I have six mana. So I will play Falconrath Mobile. And I'll make two dudes. And I will swing in with these three. So they're going to take two. I'm going to gain two. They're going to take two from damage. I'm going to gain two from damage. And they are at two. All right. They're going to play Shieldred. I'm going to sacrifice the Noble. And they're going to rip and pepperoni on the crackback. Boom. There you go. There you have it. All right. Um, there you go. That is Kimball Tokens. I uh, will have the... Deck list down the bottom. If you stuck around, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.